that's my son. That's my yeah. only son. At some point, he got to go. Never no time. I mean, at some point, Never he got to go. Never no time. Man. Never no time. So, are you talking Well, tell me, Christian. No, you tell me. You talking about you grown and you got to go somewhere. I told him, you only son, you ain't going no damn way. You go when you get ready. Man, I just feel at some point you need to um, make your own way. That's that's what I, you know, I, I be going to walk through the house naked sometime and there you go, you know, so uh, I mean, what, you know? No, if anything, you can go, not him. How about that? I'm gonna How about that? Bills in here. I, you going to tell me where I, I can go? The thing is, like, why do I got to go to my mama's house? Like, why do I got to go to my mama's house? kills me about this situation is that it would seem to me that this woman decided long time ago 22 years ago if you do the math 22 years ago that when the stepdad became financially astute enough after going in and out of his mother's house that she saw him more as a meal ticket to help her to raise her son but never truly devoted herself to their relationship I would imagine that this stepfather never truly had true authority to help raise this young man. The young boy would have been in and around seven, six, seven years old when he came into his life, but never had the authority to be a father to this young man because of the mother's allegiance to the son. Ladies, I need you to hear this part. Your children will leave you. 
her believing that her son is forever. Yeah, he's forever your son. There's nothing that could take that title away. But will he forever be your emotional son? Will he forever be your son in a present format? It is quite possible that when this young man finally grows up and leaves and starts his own life, uh, and, I, you know, he might be trying to get a few things in order, but if he's not willing to even help out in that house, he ain't a man. I'm sorry. He's just not a man. He's a boy. unless Because there, there, obviously there's no plan that he was, oh, I'm saving to buy a house or something like that because that would have been well known. He's just living life freely in his, in his mama's house, as he says. But this boy, at some point, uh, may grow up and become a man, get his own place, have his own family, and he's not in your presence anymore, ladies. He's doing his own thing. And then when you get old, need somebody to take care of you, well, you've gotten rid of that, that stepfather, that man that was with you all those years. You've gotten rid of him, so who you got? You gonna come sleep in the living room of your child's house? In an extra bedroom? What if his wife don't want you to come there? I guarantee either if his wife says no, you either not coming or that wife about to leave. And it's going to be you and your son, your son, husband, your son, of husband, <laughs> husband, son is what you're going to have. And I've seen that so many times uh, before. If you just wanted somebody to help you raise your son, because you were so quick to tell the stepdad that he can leave, he can go. He can leave. Now, he's paying all the bills there, and he says that he is. I bet you if he decided to pack his shit up and walk out that door, you'd be singing a whole nother tune. You'd be crying and crying and crying. And then that young man is definitely going to have to help you pay those bills. And I would love to see how that works out. But stop getting in. If you are a single mother or a single dad, and you are looking for somebody to just help you out financially, don't get into a relationship with somebody without telling them that that's what you desire, that that's what you want. And I can't, I'm not too mad at the young man because he's just been raised that way. He's just been raised that way to not have personal responsibility, to not have a plan, a, a way to, a way to grow. It's not like they were saying that he's in college. It's not that he was saving money to buy a house. It wasn't anything. He was, he started a business and he was living with it, living with them so he can let the business grow and have working capital. There was none of that spoken by the young man. He's just living life as a freeloader because his parent, his mother is allowing him to do so. And that's sad because that's what you're creating for some other woman to have to deal with. That's what you're creating. That's what she's created for some other woman to have to deal with. And he probably struggles at 29. He probably struggles at dealing with any woman that is in and around his age because she's going to expect more out of him. She's going to expect him to be a man. He's probably dating like 18 year olds, 19 year olds, because those are, that's still the age level where a young woman may not look for him to have as much going on with themselves. So you're raising someone who's not equipped to be a man to another woman. And then you're mad at this other man who's telling you exactly that. And that this man has raised this young boy from six, seven years old, and now wants to have the freedom of just you and him in the house, but you can't see that because you're so stuck on your son husband, your husband's son, and thinking that that's going to be forever because you're hurt because some other man left you, but this man has been with you for 22 years and you can't see his value other than him paying some bills. That's the saddest part about this video. But y'all have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.